Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Len from Straight Talk from the Homeland. Who is Diana Abgar? What about Aurora Madagavian? If you haven't heard of these amazing women, uh, then it's hardly surprising because in Armenian society they don't celebrate uh, women uh, who uh, make great achievements uh, very well. Uh, when I look at the Armenian dram banknote, for example, and by the way, there's two green ones and two purple ones, can we sort that out, please? We don't see a uh, woman featured on the dram banknote, just, just men, writers and poets who are simply doing their job. I walk around Yerevan and I don't see any statues of Armenian woman, uh, or yes, I see Mother Armenia, but that's a generic statue. I'm talking about a uh, specific woman who have achieved, and after all, uh, women in Armenian society have been the glue that have held things together, right? While the men have suffered countless tragedies. Uh, I've seen pictures of women Fedayi carrying weapons uh, from a century ago de defending uh, this homeland. Uh, wh why is it that uh, women uh, don't have uh, icons that uh, encourage them to become scientists, engineers, and things like that. Yes, I know it's a patronymic society, and that there are worse countries, much worse uh, around Armenia, who uh, have oppressed women, uh, so that women here enjoy a relative freedom. I accept all that. But at the same time, if Armenia is to survive, the woman uh, as every citizen, need to reach their full potential, do they not? Uh, they need to achieve their dreams and uh, not have artificial barriers put in front of them. If they want to be Prime Minister or astronauts, then so be it. Uh, so I ask the question, why don't uh, we see statues, not just of Armenian women, but of women who have uh, helped Armenia? I'll give you an example. I'm aware of a street uh, that's just been renamed in Yerevan uh, for uh, Danish missionary uh, Maria Jakobsen, uh, who helped save tens of thousands of orphans, uh, and along with uh, four other incredible uh, woman missionaries uh, who were featured in a film I just recently saw called Map of Salvation by Manvel Sarabikian. You must see that uh, movie if you get the opportunity. It's uh, it's a really important documentary. Uh, nevertheless, apart from these efforts, we just don't see on a national stage any uh, efforts to recognize women uh, in such a way uh, that uh, young girls are encouraged, especially young girls from the villages here. Uh, perhaps women in the Yerevan might have greater opportunities but young girls here need to be uh, encouraged and as you might suspect, uh, the life for women in the villages is not as great as uh, it might be in Yerevan. There are things that go on here with alcoholism, for example, uh, that uh, uh, are not good for women. So um, we need uh, uh, campaigns to raise awareness we ourselves, before COVID, were hoping to uh, create a program called Empowering Rural Armenian Women uh, with a special conference uh, uh, focused on that, but we've had to put that back uh, because of the uh, war and COVID and uh, everything else. But uh, if anybody is listening uh, and would like to uh, help us kick that off again, perhaps in 2024, that would be one of our goals. There are many incredible women, very smart, uh, in some ways I think a lot smarter than men here, that's for sure, who could make a great contribution to this society and help this country survive. Uh, only three million people, every citizen needs to reach their potential, that's the truth. So uh, the message today is quite simple. Uh, please, the government needs to start uh, recognising on a more national basis, the contributions of women, uh, the people need to be more educated about uh, 
uh, about uh, those who have achieved great things and young girls in particular need to be encouraged to achieve uh, anything that they would want to achieve in their life. There should be no artificial barriers and that's not a Western thing by the way. That's quite simply saying that you need to survive with all your people's talents. That's it. So the message is quite clear. Uh, we demand greater recognition uh, for not just Armenian women, but women who have supported uh, Armenia from around the world. And that needs to be done soon. Thank you for listening. Please like, share and subscribe. This is Len from Straight Talk from the Homeland.